thank Mr. Lambrinidis. I'd now like to give the floor to the representative of the Syrian Arab Republic. Thank you, Madam President. Madam President, I will start my statement whereof my colleague from the Palestine stopped yesterday as he said that the Israeli occupation authorities do not listen to your counsel. They continue to flout the United Nations and international law. They continue to commit acts of aggression and brutality and continue to shed the blood of innocent civilians. This barbaric Israeli conduct, the expansion of the scope of its aggression to Lebanon and the intensification of its attacks on Syrian territory and other states in the region are the result of the occupation, occupation's authorities' certainty that there are those in this council who prevent it from carrying out its mandate and taking any effective steps to stop the aggression and put an end to the Israeli crimes. The inaction and the filibustering in the council in really in dealing with Gaza might be repeated in the case of Lebanon. This should not be allowed to happen. It's unacceptable. It's even shameful that some in this council who have been championing, championing rights, human rights, do not see anything wrong with the violations by Israeli occupation authorities of the principles and purposes of the Charter and the provisions of international law. They even distort facts to make the criminal a victim and the relentless aggression an act of self-defense, legitimate self-defense. They do not shy off from providing all forms of support to empower the occupation entity to continue with its aggression and brutality threatening regional and international peace and security in the region and beyond. Madam President, at a time when the vast majority of member states have condemned the war of genocide and aggression committed by the occupation authorities in Gaza, the war criminals in the occupying entity are publicly threatening to make Lebanon another Gaza. Therefore, your council is required today not to only count the days of the aggression or the numbers of casualties. It is required to take immediate and meaningful action to end the barbaric Israeli attack on Lebanon, the attack that targeted thousands of innocent civilians, journalists, humanitarian and healthcare personnel, and spread death and destruction in entire areas. It flattened buildings and residential neighborhoods. It displaced hundreds of thousands of their residents in their homeland, Lebanon, and into my country, Syria. The deliberate targeting of Israel by Israel of civilians and the massive use of heavy weapons and bombs and the assassinations and the use of these bombs in the most densely populated cities and the calls by the officials of the occupying authorities for mass killing and the use of prohibited weapons, including those of mass destruction, clearly reflects the aggressive nature of the occupation and its military practices which have destabilized the security and the stability of the region for decades and prevented its peoples from living in an atmosphere of prosperity and stability. Madam President, simultaneous to the escalation of the Israeli aggression on Lebanon, the Israeli occupation authorities have intensified their attacks on the Syrian territory until they have become almost a daily affair. During the past few days, they have hit a number of residential buildings in the capital of Damascus, resulting in the death of 15 civilians, most of them women and children, and the injury of dozens more. 
not to mention the intimidation and the terrorization of peaceful civilians and the material losses and damages to private and public property. These Israeli attacks also targeted the international road linking Damascus and Beirut, which is used daily by thousands of people coming from the brotherly Lebanon to escape the killing machine of Israel, which inflicted further suffering on them that exacerbated their humanitarian suffering due to the displacement. Israel also attacked commercial facilities and a hub for the collection of food and medical aid for those arriving from Lebanon in the industrial city of Hassiya. My country, Syria, while stressing its right to defend its territorial integrity by all means guaranteed by international law, calls on the Security Council to take immediate action to stop such attacks and to ensure the, the accountability and their non-recurrence. Madam President, my country, Syria, reiterates its strong solidarity with the brotherly Lebanon, which is facing an emergency humanitarian tragedy due, due to the Israeli aggression. Despite the challenges it faces and the inhumane unilateral coercive measures, the Syrian government has taken all necessary measures to provide humanitarian assistance to all Lebanese coming to Syria. The Syrians, Lebanese, and nationals of third countries, whose numbers exceeded 350,000, including almost 100,000 Lebanese and thousands of Arab and foreign persons. The Higher Relief Committee issued the necessary documents and provided all facilities for their entry and assistance, including the establishment of humanitarian response centers on border crossings in cooperation with the UNHCR, the Syrian Red Crescent, and Syrian NGOs. The government equipped shelters to host them. That's in addition to the homes of Syrians who opened their doors to host their brothers. We are also providing health care and medical services to more than 20,000 to date. We are also providing food baskets, non-food humanitarian aid, transport and communication, legal consultation, official documents, customs exemptions, and other basic services, all free of charge. Syria looks forward to the response by the member states of the UN to the relevant appeals launched by the UN High Commissioner for Refugees and other UN agencies. Madam President, Syria stresses the need for the Council to take decisive and unequivocal action and to adopt a clear and obvious resolution that cannot be misinterpreted or used as filibustering, as we have seen in the past, a resolution that obliges the Israeli occupation authorities to seize their aggression against, the Pal against Palestine and Lebanon and Syria, to curb the efforts of the occupation to invade the Lebanese territory, as this represents a flagrant violation to the Lebanese sovereignty, its unity, and territorial integrity and a grave threat to its security and stability. My country also stresses the need to hold Israel accountable and ensure it does not enjoy impunity. We call to enforce relevant Security Council resolutions, in particular resolutions 242, 338, and 497. In doing, th in doing so, the Council will be discharging its main mandate given to it by Member States to maintain international peace and security. In conclusion, Madam President, the attempts
by the occupation to break the will of the peoples of the region and push them to abandon their inherent rights to resist the occupation and restore their occupied land will not succeed. Facts of history prove that. The owners of the land will eventually prevail, regardless of the length and the brutality of the crimes of occupation. Thank you, Madam President.